Hey there, Luke here with another video. For those of you unfamiliar with our channel, my husband Tyler and I make weekly travel videos where we document our experiences since moving from North America to the UK. If you're just tuning into our channel now, we have been in the middle of a series of the summer of 2021 where we visited parts of Scotland, as well as at this point where we were visiting Spain, starting in Barcelona and making our way along the east and southern coast of Spain. At this point in our trip, we had just finished visiting the city of Córdoba and the town of Ronda. And in this video, I'll be taking you where we headed next, which was the British overseas territory of Gibraltar. For those of you who don't know much about Gibraltar, it's kind of interesting in that it is technically connected to the landmass of Spain, but it does technically belong to the government of the United Kingdom. So it's kind of this really just tiny little jet of land right at the very bottom of the Iberian Peninsula. And it has a lot of natural beauty to see, as well as just kind of a fun experience visiting this little British exclave that is connected directly to Spain. In order to reach here, we took about an hour and a half train ride from Ronda to San Roque La Linea train station. There's not really much to see in La Linea, and therefore we just headed straight over to Gibraltar. We did this by taking a taxi, which we found was the easiest way to reach the border between Spain and Gibraltar. Once you're at the border patrol area, it's really easy to just walk across. So you just walk to the border station and show them your passport. It's a really quick and easy passport control area. And then once you exit passport control and have entered Gibraltar, it's about a 20 minute walk to the center of town. There are options to take shuttle buses and taxis as well if you choose to do so, but we found compared to Spain, Gibraltar is definitely more expensive. So you do have to be aware of that if you are traveling on a budget like we were. So we chose to just walk when we could and save as much money as we could in this particular region because it is generally not super cheap. From the town center, we took the cable car up to Gibraltar Rock to see the famous Barbary macaque monkey population that lived there. Most of the rock's upper area is covered by a nature reserve, which is home to around 300 Barbary macaques and a series of historic tunnels. There's a panoramic viewpoint at the cable car station at the top of the rock that offers great views of the surrounding area and even glimpses of Africa across the strait on a clear day. The view of Africa is even better at the southern viewpoint at O'Hara's Battery, which is an artillery battery at the highest point of the Rock of Gibraltar. After we were happy exploring the top of the rock, we decided to begin our descent down and we made a stop along the way at St. Michael's Cave, which is a beautifully intricate limestone cave with really intricate lighting and is quite pretty to see. It also acts as an occasional concert venue.
Another thing we did as we continued our descent down the rock was to visit the Windsor Suspension Bridge, which is a 70 meter long pedestrian suspension bridge spanning a deep gorge with great views of the Bay of Gibraltar. The last stop we did during our descent was to the historic Moorish Castle, which included the Tower of Homage and the Gatehouse, which happened to be guarded at the time by a macaque monkey. Part of the castle itself also housed the prison of Gibraltar until that was relocated in the year 2010. We finished our day and decided that we were missing a bit of British food and beer, so we headed to a great British pub in Gibraltar and enjoyed some beers, fish and chips, and steak and ale pie. On our second day in Gibraltar, we visited the southernmost point of Gibraltar, which is called Europa Point. And this provides views of the lighthouse as well as Africa across the water. After walking around and relaxing by the viewpoint, we proceeded to Gorham's Cave Complex, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is known for having the youngest Neanderthal remains that date back all the way to 30,000 years ago. Ongoing yearly excavation still takes place here with professionals from across the world. We finished our day with a visit to the beautiful Catalan Bay, which is a cute fishing village on the eastern side of the rock and offers lovely shops and a nice beach to enjoy if you're looking for just a place for some downtime while you're visiting Gibraltar. All right, everyone, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing Gibraltar with us, and I hope that you'll continue along for the ride as we continue our journey in Spain. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a comment, a like, and subscribe, and stay tuned because next we are heading to the amazing Spanish city of Seville. So see you then. Bye.